Hey everyone, this is Gal. Hello. And I'm Eyal. And uh, we were recently involved in this plugin called Fluid Pitch. Uh, Fluid Pitch started as the idea of a very good musician from India called Krishna Chetan. And uh, he came with this idea that as a keyboard player, I immediately thought this is a, a real problem. This is a real something that fixes uh, a problem that I've had to deal with as, yeah. a, as a keyboard player. And Gal was the was the lead developer for it. Uh, so I thought it might be cool to uh, bring her in and uh, have a little video and maybe have her share a bit of the technical uh, information of how Not this that. plugin works. Yeah, so uh, the main idea of the plugin is to uh, correct your pitch bends. So what it does, it takes your pitch bend messages uh, it and it keeps them locked to a certain musical key that you can choose or custom. So I, I just have the regular Logic E piano loaded and I'm just going to play in C major. Just all boring C major, right? And uh, if I'm just going to use the pitch band and bend all or bend each note all the way up, it's going to sound like this. That was kind of weird and yeah. not very musical, right? Because because uh, C goes all the way up to D, which, which makes is sense. Okay. Yeah. D goes all the way up to E, and that's fine. But then E goes to like a, an F sharp, sharp. Yeah. right? And F sharp uh, gives it like a uh, sort of a Lydian mode, which is not what, what it tried to play. What you expected, yeah. Right. This is not not very musical, and, and to make it a, kind of be in tune, I have to start finding the in between. Pitch band, which is pretty hard, especially if you're playing fast. Uh, so, uh, so how does the the plugin solve this problem? Uh, okay, so the plugin takes uh, a, the, the note that you played, and the plugin knows uh, to where it should bend. So, for instance, if you played the E with the with our plugin, uh, and you'll bend all the way up, uh, you'll get an F instead of an F sharp. Um, maybe we should uh, demonstrate. Right. So so I just load the plugin as a MIDI plugin yeah, in that's Logic it. or any Whatever, other way. Yeah. So I'm just lo loading this as, as a MIDI insert in Logic. And I bring up the plugin GUI. And uh, so I have uh, a key that's assigned, right? I can just pick the root and the scale, right? Yeah, whatever you want. You can also play with it. Costume, c costume it to whatever scale you, you wish. Right. So now it starts with C major, mm -hmm. right? So let's see what happens. So I'm just going to do the same thing I did before. That sounded much better, I think. Yeah. <laughs> right? Uh, so the cool thing is that, that I noticed is that it doesn't just uh, gets to the target of the note and key. It also gives me like a smooth bend Hold from that. anything in between. So when I do stuff like, right, I actually have a smooth bend, so I can control it. It's not like a, like an auto-tune where it pushes the note uh, into the note. It really gives me like a smooth feeling of control, right, yeah. from, from, the, from the bottom to the top, but it's in key, right? Yeah. So let's try another another uh, scale. Let's pick like uh, Maybe C, C minor, C minor yeah. right? natural minor so something like we also have um, interval that you can choose from the default is uh, two but you can also choose like uh, the third mm -hmm. which will uh, take you to the third uh, scale degree in the scale that you've chosen so, for instance, if uh, we're in C minor and you'll bend uh, uh, up, you'll get um, E flat. Right. Yeah. E flat. So that'll be like two scale degrees up or yeah. the third scale degree. Uh, so when I click this, I get this red, red, uh, red warning. Red warning. Yeah, right? of course. What does that mean? So basically, if you have bands that are bigger than two semitones, we need to adjust uh, the instrument bend range to be 12 or higher. 
uh, in the, uh, in our plugin and also in your synth. And that's because bending a uh, third up is just something the synth should support, right? Otherwise, it doesn't yeah, know that it, it won't, needs yeah. to go that high. Cool. So I changed this to 12 or something, anything higher than two, basically. And now, this will get me a third. That's awesome. Yeah. So what happens if I play uh, outside of the key? Like what happens if I'm in like C minor and I want to play other like chromatic notes? Oh, that's cool. So uh, if you play a chromatic or off key notes, uh, it would just go to the closest note that, uh, uh, that, that we find based on if you bend uh, up or down. So um, if you played an, an E, uh, and you bend up, it will lock to uh, F. So so let's see. So I'm in and C we'll, minor. Yeah. Right? Uh, and let's say I'm going to bring in this this E, right? So it bends me back into the key, right? Yeah. I can still play it. Yeah, so of gonna, course. So I'm going to detune my, uh, or lock my play. I can still play chromatic music, but then this will go back into the into the F that's in key. It's not yeah. gonna, so let's say um, I have something like. And going down gets me to this B flat, right? Which is in the key, so. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, we can even choose like other interesting keys, like like pentatonic and yeah, stuff, I, right? I think, yeah, pentatonic is cool. Um... So let's pick something like a minor Maybe. minor pentatonic, right? So well, and, Maybe and I, we should add a blue note. Right, so I can manually add notes, right, yeah. to the key. So it doesn't can, have to be a predetermined key. You can so do whatever you want. So let's start with something like an F sharp. That is very cool. So, yeah. that, that, and all these were just automatic. I didn't have to like fine tune my pitch bend. It just worked, right? Uh, cool. So, uh, what other features do we have? So, another cool feature we have is uh, the MPE upscale mode. Mm -hmm. um, basically, the plugin can uh, make any MIDI keyboard to be compatible to MPE, and of course, it will also be compatible with the pitch bend we we use. Um, so if we'll, if we'll go to MPE mode and we'll play uh, a chord, let's say we'll play uh, C major and we are on, on C major. So every note will go to its correct degree. So uh, like C will go to D, but E will go to F. So hang on. So I can use this with any MPE synthesizer? A yeah, any oh. MPE synthesizer and any MIDI keyboard that you have. All right, so let's let's try loading this here. I have uh, I have this synth uh, that I really like. It's called Cipher Two. It's from F Expansion, and it supports MPE on some of the presets. Mm -hmm. So let's try it. So here I have a polyphonic sound that's like the Blade Runner uh, brass. So so I have to go into fluid pitch on that track and pick MPE, right? Yeah. And and, and let's say I'm now I'm now I'm in C major. So what's gonna what's gonna happen? So I'm going to bend this up, right? Yeah. So, so so what's going on here? So So what's going on here? Okay. So uh C actually, like like we said, C will go to D, but E will go to F. So we can calculate uh, we calculate on each note uh to where it should go when you when you play so so if i play a chord with like three notes right or two notes then each note has its own like scale correction it has its right? own, yeah it has its own pitch bend so in this case like when i had the c chord some of the notes went up a full uh basically two semitones yeah. and some of the notes like the what? e went up just one semitone because it was like scale corrected so it's almost like voice leading So even when I go down, right? 
the C goes down to a B, but yeah. the but the E goes down to, to a, a D, D, right? So that gives me like. Very cool. Yeah. So, so what are these other features? So we also have cool feature that called a uh, no return band. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically, no return band is literally just what it is. Uh, it will ignore any return travel that you play. So if you play a chord or a note and you uh, bend it to max or min, and you release the pitch band, it will ignore the return band. It, um, and it, it lets you play uh, like really fast licks without, without it sound weird because the, the, the pitch band uh, went back. So without the return band, right? So let's say I play really fast. So it keeps returning back when, I, yeah. when a pitch band goes down, right? So if I turn no return band, uh, it will just stick to the maximum or minimum uh, value that it got. Okay, so... So I got like this really smooth, yeah. uh, smooth uh, uh, lead playing, right? Fluid. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. And uh, and what's this microtuning button? Oh, what does yeah. this do? That's a very cool feature and also doesn't have uh, no, no relation to the pitch uh, band uh, feature. So basically, you can uh, microtune any note uh, to be a, a quarter uh, up or down uh, as you wish. Uh, and it gives you like really cool Middle Eastern scales that you can use. Uh, so if you're into that, uh, that's very, it will be very cool for you to use. So I can like tune my keyboard to these like non-Western yeah. scales. So, so let, let's try it. So let's say I have, I'm in here in, uh, let's be in C minor or something, right? And let's say I want to, uh, maybe have, or maybe let's, let's add, uh, this B here. Right, and so I can just microtune each note on each chromatic note. So, so I could just pick it, pick it to be whatever pitch whatever they want, want. Right. Yeah. So let's pick it to be. Let's say I play something uh, like this. Like, so I can bring it up. Just bring this B a little bit up. So. So, so this actually works without any any kind of pitch bend or anything yeah, like that, right? Definitely, without anything. <laughs> and it keeps bending correctly too. Yeah, yeah, of course. So if I have that note in the key, let's add this note here. It will actually bend into the microtune note, right? Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> That's very cool. All right. Uh, do you have anything else that you want to add? Uh, I think that's it, actually. In general, of course, there's also uh, minor tricks in the plugin, but you can uh, feel free to leave a comment and uh, we'll uh, answer to you. Awesome. Uh, feel free to ask us any questions. Gal is more qualified to answer than I do. And uh, hopefully this thing will bring you some uh, enjoyment in your music making. So good luck. Enjoy. <laughs>